Let's talk about organizing, copying, and moving our files in OneDrive. First of all, one of the basic staples to organization that many of us are already familiar with are folders. So we, you saw in a previous lesson how to create a new folder just using the new button and folder. And you also know that we can upload existing folders. So that's one method that's readily available for us to use. And something I really like about folders in OneDrive is that sometimes, you know, like when you're in File Explorer and you see folders, you don't really know if there's any items in those folders. But here we can see that monthly reports and annual reports have zero items, so we don't even have to click into those. However, we can also see those that do have content, like 10 items and 13 items. Now let's say we're ready to kind of rearrange. We've created these new folders like monthly reports, annual rep reports, and we're ready to move some of this uh, information in there. So first of all, I need to select the files that I'm ready to move. So the CE annual report and then this annual financial report draft. So I just choose to the left of each of those files, that circle that you see when you hover, that selects the files, and then just drag and drop. So I'm going to drag one of them up to annual reports and notice before I let go it says move two items. Perfect. Just a matter of time those two items have moved and now annual reports immediately shows it has two items. Now let's go into that folder. Let's say I made a mistake like this draft report maybe shouldn't be in there yet because I intend to share that annual reports folder with my boss, right? So let's get that draft out of there. So what I'm going to do now is just drag and drop in reverse. And something you'll notice inside of OneDrive is that you get this file path, uh, breadcrumb path, some people call it, which is showing us that we started at My Files, which is your top level OneDrive, and now we're in a folder called Annual Reports. And if we were in another folder, I'll just show you real quick, if you had, let's say, 2021 as a folder, then it's going to show you the whole path, right? So when you're in a folder and you want to go up with files instead of into another uh, level deep. Just drag that file up to that breadcrumb path and drop it onto, in this case, my files, because I want to put it back up at the top level so I can keep working on it. All right, so now I'm going to go back up to the my files top level again, just by myself here, and there's my draft. So I made sure that that moved. Now you can imagine doing, uh, you know, moves through here. It's pretty simple. We're just dragging and dropping most of the time. However, there are going to be business cases where you need to move things beyond OneDrive, right? Maybe you're going to move something that's a draft state now into a SharePoint site later so that your teammates can all have access to it and it lives there instead of in your OneDrive. And I just want to, I want to caution you, something really important to know about OneDrive is, of course, that it's private to you and it's tied to your identity. Uh, we get that. But think about when you, you know, you leave the department or if you promote out or if somebody leaves the company, their OneDrive goes with them. There is a period of time that their manager can get any files they need, of course. But we don't want to ever put anything in a OneDrive long term, like let's say something that needs to be accessed by the team every single day that they rely on to get work done. That should probably be in a shared location, right? And not just OneDrive, which is tied to one person, right? So anytime you're going to be, you know, moving or organizing content where it's not just really for you sharing maybe one off here and there, uh, you'll probably want to consider moving that to SharePoint. So we'll talk more about that. Uh, later on, but just keep that in mind as we talk about the, this move-in component. So I'm going to select a few files here, and let's see what our other options are. Because yeah, we know that we can drag in, we can drag up, we got that. But when you do select files, notice the top ribbon changes. And, and we know this from a previous lesson that with one file selected, we get different options. But also when multiple are selected, we get just a few options. And two of those are move to and copy to. So take a look here. When I click on Move To, I get a side panel, and it's saying, do you want to move it within your OneDrive? So basically, you know, the drag and drop possibilities. But basically, if you're doing a whole bunch of changes, it may not make sense to drag and drop, or it may be hard going from a very low position to a very high position on the page doing drag and drop. So you may choose this option to go into your OneDrive, find a folder, and drop something there. And notice you can also create new folders through this process too. So you don't have to do that in advance. So I'm going to go back up to the top, and instead of moving to somewhere in my OneDrive or creating a new location in my OneDrive, I can actually move it to a SharePoint site. 
Now we'll see something very similar in SharePoint uh, when we get into that, because you can actually move files in reverse too. So if you want to move something from a shared location into your private OneDrive, that's possible as well. But let's say I did want to move these three presentations into the leadership team site. I select the leadership team and then I just click move here. Okay, or maybe I create a new folder that says Megan's stuff or Nate's stuff. And then I move it there. Who knows, right? <laughs> so, uh, but we get the idea. We can move that to a shared location. And if you don't see the site you're looking for, just make sure that one, you're a member of that site because you'll only ever see stuff that you have access to. Um, or click browse sites and then you can see any sites that you're following so if you click the star on a site which we'll learn about later um, or anything you visited recently or click show more to see everything that's available there all right so remember what you just saw with moving copying looks very similar so again those same three files selected i'm going to click on copy to opens up that side panel i can copy within my onedrive or i can copy to a site same exact uh, look and feel, right? Just a different word, move versus copy. Now, when you move, it's a true move. It shouldn't exist in your OneDrive anymore, and it should only exist in the new location, like the SharePoint site. Of course, if you move it within OneDrive, it just simply, well, you know, moves it. It won't be in the original folder, but it will be in the new folder. Uh, whereas copying is really, you can kind of think of that as, a, as a, a snapshot. So for example, if you have annual reports and you're copying them, uh, maybe you work on the draft in your OneDrive and then you copy it when you're ready for it to be kind of published in a way to a SharePoint site. Or maybe you copy it to a, a final folder, right, instead of a draft location. So I use it kind of as a snapshot tool. Um, I can also use it to you know, copy as a template if I wanted to. So I have a base template file and copy it to create the next iteration perhaps or something like that. So let's go ahead. I'm going to move some files um, instead of copying. I'm going to move these to a SharePoint site and let's see what happens. All right, so my three files are moving. I can watch the progress to make sure those are moving to that leadership site okay. Perfect. And what I expect is for them to be gone. Those three PowerPoint presentations are no longer here. However, when you're moving things in and out of um, you know, OneDrive or SharePoint, and it's leaving entirely the, the container that it came from, so in this case, OneDrive, it's actually gonna delete it. Okay, so I'm in my recycle bin now, and these top three files here were just deleted. So I can check the timestamp there. Because if you're moving outside of the original container, it's actually going to have to recreate them in the new location, and they inherit the permissions of that new location. So it, it did actually put them there in the leadership site, which I can verify if I go over to leadership team, there they are. But as far as my OneDrive is concerned, technically it actually deleted them and then created them. Okay. Um, so if you have any questions, I know we're starting to get into some concepts that can bring up some questions. So throughout the course, notice there's a discussions button up above. Click on that discussions button and feel free to ask any questions you have, and I'll be checking that periodically and make sure we get all of your questions answered. All right, so let's go back to my files. Uh, if you're copying something, of course, nothing gets deleted, so you don't have to worry about that. And if you're moving within your OneDrive, uh, then of course it, it retains all of the version history, all of the permissions, exactly as they are. So nothing gets deleted with an internal move. All right, so since we did a move, let's do a copy. I'll select a couple of files, I'll choose copy to, and again, I could go within my own OneDrive, but let's just see if I copy to that same leadership team and copy here, what happens? I've got my copy and two items. I can watch the progress. Nothing should happen to those in my OneDrive, right? Because I'm just taking a snapshot. And then I can check that leadership team, the SharePoint site. And then here are those two files. A few seconds ago, they were copied in there. All right, so we have, uh, we've organized files by dragging and dropping. We've moved them, we've copied them in and outside of our OneDrive. One other way that you might want to organize is by using the column headers. So for example, you could say, I want to sort name, but in reverse, right? Or modified, I want to see the newest files first. So annual reports is my newest uh, modified folder. January 2021 is my newest document. Or maybe even uh, by file size, right? What's, what's my largest file? Because maybe I need to cut back a little bit because I'm running out of space. Okay, uh, you can also use the sort up here. You don't have to use the sort on the uh, column headers there. And you can always change your view. So that's not really so much organization, but just kind of a convenience, right? 
So while we've covered the, the basics of organization and moving and copying, there's just a couple other places you might want to organize files, and that would be recent and shared. So recent on the left-hand side, notice you can collapse by timestamp, so things you've been working on today, if you want. So that might help you find something you were working on maybe last month, for example. Um, and then shared, uh, you've seen something already about how we can group by shared by to get to you know a specific person who maybe said they shared something with you. But we can also sort that alphabetically and group by the date. So we can say, you know, oh, somebody shared something with me last month, expand that section, and these are all the documents that were shared with me last month, regardless of who actually shared them. Something else that's kind of cool about the shared with you is that you can click on this filter icon in the upper right hand corner and you can use a slider for the modified by, or let's say you know it's an Excel sheet that you're looking for, you can just select that. And if you're looking for a specific person, you can even put their name in there. And now I can see last month, 16 Excel worksheets were shared with me. And my final tip for you, not so much again around organization, but just kind of finding your stuff and uh, feeling organized, I guess, would be using search. So if you're not finding what you're looking for, always remember to change that scope on search to my files and then look for perhaps report and then you, you hopefully will quickly find what you're looking for whether it's a folder or a specific file.